be a sponge, and then bring the juice. By focusing on your improvement, by focusing on your progress, and eliminating any fixed mindset that you may have, and acts of perfectionism, then you encourage your own mastery. On some level, we do what we want to do 24 hours a day. Now, sometimes it may not seem like that, like, but if I'm choosing to work instead of sleep, what I'm actually saying is, Keeping my job is more important than sleeping. I'm tired of this. Like, I just, like, I'm tired of getting beat. What can I do to, to get over this hump? So mentally, that's when I kind of put that, that forefront, like, hey, it's either all or nothing. I, I, I like to put failure in quotations because I don't believe that failure is true failure if you're looking at it with the right mindset. The truth is the journey to greatness is hard. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes focus, and every day you have to decide what you value, what you want to pursue, and what you want to achieve. And if you dig deep enough, if you push hard enough, we all have what it takes to be great. Welcome to the Edge of Greatness. Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Dose. It's Monday, April 3rd, officially through quarter one, officially into April. Anybody get fooled the other day? I, I did. I was not a, I was not expecting April Fools to pop up on my uh, feeds, and it, it got me. I'm not going to lie. April snuck up on me here a little bit. But today, what I really wanted to talk about is passion and how we tend to give passion more weight than we should. I think a lot of times we confuse passion and purpose and because passion feels good because it gives us an emotional reaction to a certain thing we tend to think that if we feel passionate about something that's the same as having purpose. That's the same as following our purpose. There's a lot of people out there that, that give the advice, follow your passion, do what you're passionate about, et cetera, et cetera. I think this is bad advice because if you think about your passion, how often has it changed? How often has it evolved, shifted? But if you look deeper and you fully understand what your purpose is, you may have done different things to pursue your purpose, but the deeper meaning, the purpose within you has had a attachment to everything that you've done to some extent. But for example, I've had many passions over the course of my life at this point. There's obviously been baseball. There was basketball. I did uh, coaching for a while with uh, sports. I'm very passionate about that. Weightlifting, archaeology. I, I mean, I could probably list some more woodworking, photography, just construction. I was passionate about construction for a minute. But again, I was passionate for a minute. I found it fun and enjoyable, and I pursued it pretty heavily for a short period of time, but it didn't connect deeper. It didn't connect to my purpose. It didn't have that driving force to keep me going through the sticking points. And I think a lot of times because it feels good and we get excited, we dive into a passion, but we don't really fully appreciate the fact that if you want to get good at that, you're going to have to commit to doing a lot of work. It's okay to be passionate about many things. It really is. What the problem happens is, is when we start to just dive in to following passions on a whim. We feel so about a certain thing. Oh man, the new AI stuff is amazing. I'm passionate about it. I'm going to go, I'm going to quit my job and start doing AI when we become irrational about our decision making, when we make choices without really fully appreciating the depth of what we're trying to do, 
we find ourselves in tough situations. So when you start to feel about a certain thing, an activity, a work, whatever it is, dig deeper. Look closer to the root cause of why you're feeling this way and what about it is pulling you in. Because if you're always chasing passions, what you're doing is you're starting many fires and you're letting them burn out. But to succeed, you have to learn to feed the fire. You can't just start it, follow that spark and go, man, this is cool. And whoop, there's a little flame. This is great. And then never feed the fire. The wood's going to go away. And that's where the work part comes in to creating purpose from your passion. Right? I prefer you find your purpose and make something passionate about that. But if you end up going in the other directions, you're going to have to learn how to feed that fire. You have to learn how to keep things burning. You can't let that fizzle out. But ultimately, what I was I was hoping to dig into today was just to give you some perspective on why we end up seeing so many people jump around so often. It's cool to explore. I think that's important to dabble. I think you need to find different things that make you feel good. But once you decide how you're going to go all in or what you're going to go after, you need to understand the why behind it. There needs to be a deeper dig into what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? What's next? So keep looking for passions. Keep trying to find ways to feel excited about what you do. But don't chase every single spark that shows up. Don't chase every single passion you you find. Because as you can see, when I listed mine, there are many that don't apply to who I am today. There are many that I would never just go and try to figure out how to make a living off of. Sometimes a passion can just be a hobby. It doesn't have to be everything you do. As always, guys, keep reaching for the stars. While flying your pants, remember whatever you fall, always get up. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. If you haven't yet, please take a minute now to subscribe and review our show. Join us again next week as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But remember, no matter what happens, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness Podcast.